Lady Macbeth reads a letter from her husband that tells her the witch's prophecies, one of which has already come true. She is determined that Macbeth will be king. However, she fears he lacks the courage to kill Duncan. After a messenger tells her that e the king is coming, she calls on the powers of evil to help her that must be done. When Macbeth arrives, she tells him that the king must die that night, but reminds him that he must appear to, be, to a good loyal host. They meet me in the day of success, and I've learned by the perfect report they have more in them than mortal knowledge. When I burn to desire, to question them further, they made themselves air into which they vanished. Whilst I stood wrapped in the wonder of it, came missives from the king, who all hailed me fain of Calidor, by which the title before these weird sisters sought me and referred me to coming up the time, with hail king that shall be. This have I thought good to be delivered in my dearest partner of greatness, that thou mightest not lose dues of rejoicing by being ignorant of what greatness has promised thee. Lay this to thy heart and farewell. Come as thou art in Calidor, and shalt be what thou promised. Yet I do fear thy nature is too full of the milk of human kindness, that I may pour my spirits in thy ear, and chastise with my vole of my tongue all that impedes thee from the time golden round, which fate and metaphysical aid doth seem to have crowned with all. What is your tidings? The king comes here tonight. <laughs> Thou art mad to say it. It is not thy master whom, were it so, would have informed for preparation. So please you, it is true. Our thane is come, and one of my fellows had the speed of him, who almost dead of breath had scarcely more than would make up his message. Give him tendings. He brings great news. Raymond himself is horse. That croaks the fatal entrance of Duncan under the battlements. Come, you spirits, and untend the mortal thoughts, and fill me with the crown, toe top full of detest cruelty. Make my blood thick. Stop up the access and passages to remorse that knows compunctuous visiting of my nature. Shake my fell purpose, no keep peace between the effect and it. Come to my woman's breast and take my milk for gal, you murdering minister. Wherever in thy sightless substance you wait on nature's mischief, come, thick night, and pal thee in the dunnest smoke of hell, that my keen knife see not the wound it makes, nor heaven peeping through the blanket of the dark to cry, Hold, hold! Great Glamis, what are the capital? <laughs> Greater than both, by all hail hereafter. Thy letters have transported me beyond the ignorant present, and I feel now that my dearest love Duncan comes here tonight. And when goes hence? Tomorrow, as he purposes. Oh, never shall sun that morrow see this night's great business into my dispatch, which shall to all our nights and days and days. We'll speak further. Only look up clear to after favor ever is to fear. Leave all the rest to me. <laughs> this castle hath a pleasant seat. The air, nimbling and sweet, recommends itself unto a gentle senses. The temple haunting Martlet does approve by his loved mansionry that the heaven's breath smells wooingly here. No jetty freeze buttress nor Cohen of vantage, but this bird hath made his cradle. Where they most breed and haunt, I have observed the air is delicate. Pendant bed and procreate. The love that follows us sometime in our trouble, which seed we think as love. Hurt, I teach you. How shall bid God eat us from your pains?
<laughs> and thank us for your trouble. All our services, and every point twice done, and then done trouble, were poor in single business and content. Against those honored deep and broad wherewith your majesty loads our house, for those of old and the late dignities kept up on them. We rest your hermits. We course him at the heels and had a purpose to be in Perga, but he rides well, and his great love sharp as spur hath held him to help to his home before us. Fair and noble hostess, we are august tonight. Where is the thane of Calador? Have theirs themselves, and what is theirs in cop to make their audit at your highness' pleasure, still to return your own. Conduct me to the mine host. We love him highly, and shall continue our grace towards him. By your leave, hostess. Oh! 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 Yeah. Go, Kip. It's your birthday. I'm ready. Look at him. Oh, you. Yeah. Leland. Whoa. Done. I can't. Oh, you can't. Stop. So, letting it get out of the hole. Oh, you. Yeah. I can do it. I'll teach you an instant. Are you gonna get punched? <laughs> Tomorrow, I'll <laughs> What am I doing? Am I in the picture still? Yeah! yeah.